what happened, what's happened? Is that what you sort of envisaged was going to happen? So well, I would say the beginning of the season was not tough. I expect it was tougher, but it was completely the opposite. It's now when uh, the central defenders fell down and start to no results. We lack our consistency, and, and after the results was not good. But at the beginning of the season was really good. We won the Community Shield. We won in Stamford Bridge. Uh, we were solid in most of the games, except I would say Fulham. And after when we start to lose the games in Bournemouth, and after for the problems that we had, and everything getting worse and getting worse. And now we had to find a solution. I had to find a solution to be stability to the team through our game to win games. Hi, Pep. So Arnie Slot today, the Liverpool manager, has been asked about Mo Salah's comments after Sunday's game, in which Mo Salah said that it, it may have been his, Mo Salah's last ever game against City. So Slot was asked what, he, what Mo might have meant by that. And, and Slot's answer was, maybe Mo knows more about the 115 accusations, so expects them, meaning City, not to be in the Premier League next season. He then sort of said it was a joke. Um, that he was saying this, and maybe he shouldn't have said it. I was just wondering if you had a response to that. It was a joke. He said it was a joke, right? Yeah. It was a joke. Just considering what happened at Anfield with your uh, pithy response to the fans, it's all good knockabout stuff. Sorry? <laughs> you know, you responded to the fans. Um, Me? Yes, at Anfield. What? You know, sort of saying six. Uh, yeah, we won six, yeah. That's yeah. right. Some people are looking at that as a sign that maybe you're losing your cool. I was never cool. Do you know what do you know what was cool? Because I want we want. The people who won is so cool, it's so handsome, it's so nice. And when you don't win it's completely the opposite. But it's the same. See Jose Mourinho famously did this meaning he had won uh, three Premier League ones, I don't even remember that. And so people are comparing the way in which you responded to Jose that day, um, which some people think that was the beginning of the end for Jose at United. I hope not in my case. At the end, we were quite, quite similar like Jose. But he won three, I won six. But it's the same, so we are together. So in that in that situation. So we just to, to make feel our fans that we are much, much better than the people can think about that. So what we have done have been extraordinary. So in the, a place like uh, like it's an exceptional for many, many reasons. I want to prove that uh, we are an incredible football club. Apparently, it doesn't look like, but so sooner or later, it's going to be the end, James. You know that. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. it will happen. But I will try to extend as much as possible for the best of my, my club. Do I don't think so. You think about it, but it's okay. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> It's so boring, nine years, the same guy, you know? So sooner or later, you're going to, you know, that will be more attractive. Oh. Hi, Pep. Um, you said in the past, in, in build-ups to big finals, that you have players knocking on your door, wanting to play, desperate to play. Are, are they still doing the same thing now, that, even though things aren't going well? Are they still sort of knocking on your door, saying, I want to play, even though the situation is not quite as good as it has been in the past? Well, I don't... I don't remember much that people come to knock the door, I want to play. I know it's not necessary to knock the door to know that, that they can do it. So, so of course they want to play, especially when they are fit and they are, they are, they want to, they want to prove it. So I don't have doubts about that. So they prove it, I'm sorry. So I know the the vision is so short, one month, you know, and uh, this position is there, but I have to make the the spectrum a little bit, you know, wide and wide it means eight years and most of them there are uh, maybe <coughs> said seven, eight, nine players of figures that have been together for eight, nine years. So this is a spectrum that I see. I'm not going to judge them, I'm not going to happen for this month, a month and a half. I know that the real moment is is like that, I understand completely, but I have to push them. I wanna push them but at the same time I'm gonna be more closer than ever. Um, because what they have done is unique, and, and I know we can do it again. I know it, and now it's difficult for many other reasons, but uh, that is what it is. We have to, you know, in that moment, prove how good we are and how, you know, how positive we are for that club. Yeah. Pep, you were just you were just saying then that you want to be closer to the players than ever at the moment. How difficult is it for you to gauge when you should sort of stand back off a little bit 
and when you should sort of get in amongst them and maybe give them a little, little as bit As much they have a commitment, as much they want to do it, um, it's not a problem. Now maybe the mistakes are a little bit more often for the circumstances, but I can understand it. As much they are there and they want to do it and the rest is, this can happen. I can understand it. I've been here in that position as a football player sometimes and, and always that's not, I have, to, I have to be there and know who I'm playing for and make a, a step, don't hide behind, you know, don't, don't stay behind the scenes. You have to make a step forward and, and this is what I try to do. But from, but from your perspective as a manager, have you got to be more mindful over when you might have a little little bit of a shout or when you let them be just with each other? Always I'm so constructive in my behaviours with my players. Even I shout or I don't shout, always I am constructive. If after many years if they don't understand that my message being nice or being more rough is always to be better next time, it's because still they are wrong or still they don't know me. So. There are no managers to blame or no managers. Always you have to do it, you have to tell something, you have to say something. I've done since I arrived my manager career. It's just to next time getting better. You know, if something is not going well or what you need, I have to tell them. So if they accept it, it's fine. If they don't accept it, it's problems. But I have to do my job. So it would be for me to say, mm, guys, everything is perfect, or we have to do this, we have to do that. And there are moments in many, many games that uh, we have been close to do many, many good things. And sometimes now, for reasons that happen, but we have an opportunity tomorrow. Uh, you, you, you saw principles of, uh, and principles of play have always been the same since you came here. But you've, you've made adaptations to the team in that time, even though the principles have stayed the same. So, you know, flying wingers with Sterling and Sane, then the false nine here and then obviously Harlan comes in and you see two pivots and things. He, you've always stayed ahead of the curve and you've always adapted because you said that opponents are smart and they realise they'll, they'll change. Are you, are you entering a phase now where you feel there may need to be some ad adaptations again you know, for a fourth occasion and you, you're working on that now? Always I've been for the place I have at my disposal and I adapt for that, yeah. So are you limited a bit with, with the injuries of maybe being, ab being able to make some of the wide I, adaptations you want? The adaptation will be for the players I have at my disposal, the right. limitations I have in certain departments, adaptation of that, but the central defenders are back, the wingers are back, we have a struggle in the position in the middle, but uh, the, the team is good. Uh, so I said for the last month, obviously you have a, a problem, but now we have less problems and we have to survive with that. So at the end, we should have get results even with the problems we have. So because the problems we had, we have for a long time. I know that and, and yeah, but we have to find find a way. But always adaptation, you play in this player and the other player for the opponents, always have to relate it for the players I have. Always have been like that since the beginning. Um, you said uh, earlier on that everything comes to an end. The longer this run goes on and the more the, the players are down with no confidence, do you get the sense that maybe they start to feel that, that their sort of era of success is over, that they're, you know, this team's been together for seven or eight, nine years, as you said? Does that kind of you know, seep into their minds that maybe they're not as invincible as I don't know. they once were? I cannot answer this question because I don't know. We'll try to extend as much as possible. Still, I said we are in November, many, many competitions to play still, many games in the Premier League to play, a lot of things still, so when it's going to finish, going to finish, but uh, when we were in the two, three years ago, when we were celebrating the treble or the quadruple or whatever, I said it's going to finish, it's going to end. But to try to continue to push my players and the players respond unbelievably well. And this season, for many, again, little, little circumstances that is not necessary to announce, so everything drop and everything, and the rise in the opponents. But, you know, we, we, we start really well in terms of results. We were stable in many, many things, but at the end we are not and have to continue. To, if it's at the end or not, the time, the time will, will dictate, we'll see. You've always, you've always talked about having an instinct for these things and sort of smell for the dressing room and that kind of thing. Do you, do you sense that the players you still believe that they can come back from this, that there's, that there's a belief that they can recover from this? It's worse. It's, worse uh, uh, it's just worse. I don't know. Yeah. That, that's what happens when you win games. I say, yeah, yeah, I won. And uh, yeah, they want it. I know they want it. 
We want it every single day. I don't have doubt, any doubt about that. But we are not getting results, and you have to get results. So, and and this is the reality. They are not going to come to me and say, "No, I don't believe anymore. I don't believe anymore. I don't believe what we have done anymore." That doesn't happen. That is will not happen. They wanna. I want that to, to help them to find the way to be consistent and win games. And this is what uh, I have to. We have to do. And what's going to happen is going to happen. But still, otherwise I will not decide or I will still there that I want to be with these players longer. So I had in my in my head my destiny when I want to extend it because I believe I, I want to continue to do that. But of course the results, all the managers we are in that in that in that situation. So it's the first time in my career, but what can I do? I accept it. Like a challenge, like a big big the proof for myself, and I can, we can help them. It's not, uh, it's not, and the players knows it. We talk about that, so I want to be here. And if they want me, fine. If they don't, don't, they have to fight. Hi, Pep. On Sunday, you said that um, your time in Manchester has probably been the best of your managerial career. Obviously, at Barcelona, you got an incredible link with them and did amazing things, and at Bayern, there was a lot of achievements as well. So, what, what is it about? What you've done at, done at City, for that to be the best period. Well, ob obviously for the fact that I've been nine years already. Otherwise, we would not be here. Of course, Barcelona was in a special because I was I start from a ball boy there. I was a player there, and after being a manager, is the club of my heart. And Barcelona is always completely incomparable for other things. And be a manager, a giant like is Bayern Munich in Germany, like they prove it in a. The structure and the city and the mentality of that club, how competitive they are in all departments, is it was a big, big lesson for me. But if I've been nine years here, it's because I found an ecosystem or many, many things that made me made me feel good as a manager. That uh, being here, but the reason why I've been so long, I think nobody here is stupid to know the reason why I'm here. So it's because we won a lot, and that's why. The people trust me because we won and we continue to continue. The people is not here just for the fact that you have done in the past and forever. So, but other side, I don't surprise. I know even where the situation is good, the people will. Uh, in a sport, you can listen when, when you are in 20 years, we'll remember that. But the people want to fax today, today, today. People don't think or don't want to wait what you have done yesterday or the, even last season or two seasons or three seasons. It's now what you have to do. And now we are not delivering that. And that is what we have to do, deliver again, that we can be a good a good team. This is our target. And now it's not happening. And that's why the memories, that's why I'm not here to say, well, what we have done. I remember the six Premier Leagues because it made me prove myself and our team how difficult is everything in life and how complicated that. But absolutely, I feel sorry for myself. And all the criticisms can be, and all the situations, all the doubts, that I knew it for long because I've been in that period in Barcelona as a football player manager. I don't expect any gratitude for what we've done. So we have to deliver today, tomorrow, the after tomorrow, not yesterday or the days before because the people don't care. So, and at the end, I never felt different than all the managers that had a problem in results that they say be treated differently than the people can treat the teams or the managers in that moment. It's quite normal. And I said, if you don't like that, you don't accept that, you have to retire and go another job. But the job is here, is exposed in front in a good moment, say oh, how good is this manager and when it's not, how bad it is. And now it's as simple as that. You want a solution? Yes, of course, because. I have a lot of info. The reason why is we are a little bit in that situation. I spoke in the last month many, many times, and I suggest with that, with Simon made the first question, if I have all the squad ready, Oscar, Rodri, and the other one, of course we will be there. And John and Manu and Nathan Noinger and Kevin. Uh, people say, ah, Kevin, have a problem with Kevin. Do you think I would not like to play Kevin? No, I don't want Kevin play. Yeah. The guy he has the most talents in the final third and the other one. No, no, I don't want it. It's a personal problem with him. I've been nine years together. He delivered to me the big success in this club. But I've been think five months injured, it's two months injured. They have thirty four years old. So it needs time to have the best and and like last season happened step by step to do it, to try to do it and feel better. 
and I'm desperate to have his best. And I won desperate uh, five goals and assists for Phil the last season had, and the gold assists from Kevin, and the gold assists from um, Jeremy, and gold assists from a little less from Jack, or from Savino, or from Gundo, the five assists. Both goals and assists for these four or five players, five. No, not take 20, 30, 40, no, no. Just five goals and assists for these four or five players. We'll be top of the league. But why not happen? They were not here. They were injured. They were not ready. So this is the, the bigger problem that I think I have. I can assure you to say 100% we will be good. I don't know because we will never know what's going to happen. But my feeling, of course, we will be a good, a good team. But we have to find a solution with this absence. That proved myself. I have to find a way with the problems that we had and we have. Still, we have to be now clean our heads and try to win games and win games and win games to then make it uh, the season tougher. No, just on, on Kevin, you mentioned him there. Can he get back to that top level? Or is he? are those injuries going to kind of sort of linger in the background for him? Or does he need to kind of be rested and played kind of... I would love to have the Kevin who is prime with 25, 26, 27, 28 years old. Of course I would love it. He would love it. But he does not have 23, 24, 25, 26 anymore. So, and, and have injuries in the past, important ones, the long ones, and there's a guy who needs to be physical fit to his space, his energy. But you think I'm complaining for that. It's nature, it's normal, it's happened. It's this amount of cattle that played 10, 11 seasons, a lot, a lot of games. And oh, he's desperate to help us. He's going to give us a glimpse of brilliancy that only he can, he can have and the other one. But, Always I said the same, he, for himself, he's not solved our problems. Like Erling is not solved our problems. Always we attack together, we defend together. It's not, okay, this guy's defending, this guy's attack. The team was not like that. Today the modern football is not like that. And of course we wanted that uh, the best players, you know, the best players back. And hopefully, you know, step by step, because still in November and have minutes and the confidence come back and results will help us, can give us the best of him or the best of all of us. Thank you guys. Thank you.